Hello and welcome to Paris Set Me Free video tutorials and this is an iPhone tutorial. It doesn't have to be iPhone, it's a, just a picture taken on a camera phone. Um, this is in, in relation to my uh, Paris and I photo blog where I try to take photographs which are as interesting and creative as possible just using that crappy little camera on, on the telephone. So I'm going to just do two photographs this time. did a couple of videos with three. It wasn't enough time. Here's one. And this is a little bookshop that doesn't really get uh, credit for what it is because it gets overshadowed by good old Shakespeare and company round the corner. And uh, as you can see from the flag, it's a Canadian bookshop. and to be honest, I must admit I've never been in. I'm a bit scared of the the guy. He looks a bit f a bit fierce. This guy here, I think it is, is the proprietor, and I'm sure he's a very nice guy. Must be Canadian. And uh, this is his little shop. There you are, Canadian flag, uh, grudging respect to uh, the UK and the States, but no, Canada is what it's about, and uh, selling lots of English books. Look, he's got piles and piles of these things. So here was his shop, and it's rather nice, isn't it, with the flag, the books, and this these old arches, and this lovely warm light emanating from the inside. So I thought I'd try a shot of that. Um, let me show you where he is. He's uh, he's down here in the fifth arrondissement. There you go. There's the Seine, moving into uh, good old uh, Shakespeare and Company territory, of course. But he's round the back. He's uh, there's a church here, and on the uh, Rue Saint Jacques, and he's just down this little street, down this little street here, I think it is. Don't know if we can actually get in there or not. Probably not. See, I'll put you just I'll just put you just down here. Hopefully on this corner. And uh, where are we? Middle of nowhere. Ah, hang on. There's the church. Just there. Some old building there. Oh, very medieval looking. And uh, down this little street here is the bookshop. Okay, just where it says Melissa, which is not the bookshop at all. All right. Oh, you can go down there. Look. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. Look, there's the arches. It's not open when this uh, photograph was taken. So anyway, there's the final shot, and you'll probably agree it's not very uh, similar to the original, because I've played around with it, done all sorts of things. Look, um, CPI'd it a bit, made it look a bit rougher, maybe added a bit of texture. You know, I can't even remember what I did, but that's what it ended up as. There's the guy doing his thing, loading a big pile of books in. It was the end of the day and he was packing up. Now let's have a look at why I chose this particular photograph. Look at the uh, the flag in particular. Can you see the uh, the maple leaf there? Yes you can. Now let's have a look at some of these. Uh, this one, not bad, there's a bit of a breeze there. Basically what can you do? The, the bookshop is static. The books and the piles of books aren't going to do anything. What's moving? The guy's moving and the flag is moving. So, and also people are going past. Um, I shouldn't, shouldn't forget that. Let's have a look. Are there, is there anyone going past? Yeah, here's, whoops, what's he doing there? Talk about him later. There's one going past. Now, does that add to the picture? There's a guy, he's on the phone. There's another guy coming along. Um, here's another one with a couple going past. Now, that's all very well, but there, do they add to the photograph? I'm trying to make my photograph this bookshop. Uh, in all its glory. Now, do they add to it? She looks like she's a bit scared of the camera. She's covering up herself. The guy's looking a bit sort of uh, dumbstruck as well. They don't add to what I want. If they were browsing the books, fair enough, but they're not, and there's somebody else's head on his shoulder. Let's have a look. What other options did I have? Mind you, just go back to that one. The flag is rather nicely folded. That's rather beautiful there, but you can't have everything, can you? All right, here's another one. Yeah, he's coming out. We've got the guy. We've got the guy. And the flag is, well, it's, it's half unfurled, isn't it? But, you know, that that doesn't do it for me. I, I prefer more more folds. That's half out and half not out. So, And the guy's just a bit of a blow. He's neither here nor there. What other options did I have? Whoa, look at that. The flag is the flag. Um, if you wanted a picture of the flag, that would be the one to go for, wouldn't it? What's the guy doing? 
He's kind of looking, wondering which box to take next. He's off to the right. He's not really in the shop, as it were. Uh, could be okay. Could It's an option. All right, here's another one I had. Ah, now this one's more interesting. Let's look at the flag. It's kind of half unfurled. Can't really see the maple leaf. That's upsetting me a little bit. But he's, you know, well into it. He's in mid-stride. He's blurred, so he's obviously moving around busy. So that's not too bad. Here's another one. And now he's grabbing those books. Let's see what the flag's doing. He's in the shop. He's in the, the archway. So he's framed by that in the archway of his own shop. The flag is not so out straight it looks like it's starched, but it's not hanging down so much that we can't see what it is. This is looking good. And I think this is the one that I used in the end. Uh, I had one other option. Uh, now look at this. He's moving the books and they're blurred. It must have been later, late in the evening. The light was low. The flag's not bad and that's blurred. In the end, I went for the one I just told you about. He's leaning in. So the flag is, it's it's got those nice curls, but you can still see the maple leaf. Otherwise, what would be the point? You know, you're supposed to be, I'm supposed to be saying this is the Canadian bookshop, which is uh, in contrast to the the uh, Shakespeare and Son one. So, uh, so that's the one I went with. Um, he's nicely framed. I got rid of the extraneous stuff which doesn't fit in with these nice, there's a double arches there, the double doors, one's open, he's in there, it's his bookshop, he's got his flag, you can see what it is. Voila! All right, now going the other way, no, going this way, uh, let me just show you uh, this first of all. Right, now this is the guy you caught a glimpse of earlier, it's one of those living statues and he was in Montmartre, believe it or not. Where is Montmartre? Uh, let me just show you. Well, you know where Montmartre is, don't you? I'm trying to zoom out of Street View. Wasting precious seconds here. Just to show you where a place is that you know already. Montmartre, up in the north of Paris, there. Around the uh, Sacre Coeur. And, and he sits around, uh, pretending to be a living statue. There's the final version not doing this at all in the order that I wanted to. That's what he looks like in the end and that's what I had to work with. I think that's the one I chose as well. I had two options, that one and this one. One was closer, one was further away. Actually, because he isn't moving, it's rather difficult to know which I chose in the end. Maybe I chose uh, the nearer one if it had everything I wanted just because I'd have more pixels for my money. Now, what do you do with a guy <coughs> who isn't moving? How creative can you be with that? Well, there's a few options. One, you can try and frame him nicely so that just looking at that is pleasing. What did I do in the end? Well, I did try to uh, frame him nicely. And I've even used a special, well, an effect which blurs off the edges, you see. So that's rather nice because it gives you another frame to play with. You see, all around the edges there, it's 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 gone all fuzzy into black, which I've then surrounded with another little white thing, which is, uh, which is pleasant, I think. I think rather than him just going, vroom, the whole of this white thing just falling into the frame, that tiny little bit of black, which is an option on the iPhone and probably on some programs for other phones, uh, that is an option. And it, it gives you that, well, I mean, look at it, you know, I like it, I like it. It's, it's as though well, it's a frame, isn't it? And uh, so he's completely surrounded by black. Then he's completely surrounded by white. Now, if you look at the, what I've done to the whiteness of his top there, it's completely white. Now, if you look at the original, it's not completely white at all. But um, but how do you take something and make it a little bit more fun, a little bit sexier than, than grim reality? I mean, okay, he's he's an interesting guy, but you need again to add your own thing, otherwise it's just a shot of a guy doing doing that. So what I wanted to do was make him more magical, and you do that by framing. I could have had someone interacting with him, but there weren't there wasn't anyone. So I've literally made it a portrait of him doing his thing, weird as it is, and I love the way the uh, the processing has given me a touch of blue and a touch of pink. His face is absolutely beautiful look at that texture there and this is completely white making it uh, so almost saintly that's it for this time see you depuis que je suis à paris le jour et la nuit je suis gris j'ai compris la douceur de vivre je suis fou de joie je suis ivre depuis que je suis à paris